I can't see it on the screen. Just, thank you. Hi, everyone. Sorry, we're trying to get this to work. Something has happened with the internet this morning. <laughs> it's been panic mode. I'm going to see if the link I sent Michelle is going to work. And we'll have her in. Hi, everyone. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Jill. Morning. Hi, Robin. If we can't get it to work, then we'll, we'll somehow reschedule or something. But we were she just, is. she's there? Oh, awesome. There's Michelle. Michelle, so sorry. <laughs> Can I hear her? Uh, Do you need me to talk? Fine. No, I can't hear her. <laughs> Leave this to me. I was going to do this from home, and then the cameras were not working right, and so we ran here. And uh, I mean, this is what happens sometimes. It's just the way it is. Mich or Ramel is working. I mean, she can be heard online. Okay, I just can't. There. No, no, that's something. Oh. Michelle, say something. Say something. You can't hear okay. me. Well, we'll just, you know, this is a an experiment and this is what happens. It's, so it's okay. We're just gonna plow ahead, aren't we? It's it's gonna so she can both of you can be heard online. Okay. But right now it's gonna be an echo if I turn her up in here. Is it working okay. now? Yes. So people can hear you, Michelle. I just you're quiet for me. We'll okay. have to figure this out after the fact. But in the meantime, let's sew. I'm going to use purple glitter vinyl. And for everyone who's here, thank you for showing up. I'm so sorry that I'm technically weird. <laughs> but we'll get there. I think we should make this a weekly event or something. Yes. I think it would be fun. Uh, so fun. We're going to do the Comet case, which the link is on the Facebook post. It's a full tutorial that's been out for a few years. Michelle and I are going to sew it. I'm Im improvising a bit today because I sent all my scrap fabric out. So I'm going to do just an all glitter vinyl version. Michelle, are you using fabric like the tutorial shows? Yeah, fabric that's top glitter vinyl rainbow glitter vinyl on the bottom awesome superb so if michelle i'm just to yeah. say if i'm not looking at the camera it's because you're on my computer and i'm using a different camera so i look like totally I'm get it yeah, yeah totally get it to being look. on camera can be so weird yeah. can't it <laughs> um a few tips before we start if you guys are sewing with us i definitely have to use a teflon foot do you michelle yep Absolutely. Teflon foot. I'm, I just cleaned my machine last night. This is my Bernina 1008 and I'm using Guterman all purpose thread. And I just put in a new needle. I'm using a Microtex 80. Michelle, do you want to talk about what you're using? And don't worry. You don't have to uh, yeah. use what I'm using. My machine is not clean. So good thing we're not seeing that. I didn't clean it. I'm using a 9014 Teflon foot and I'm using text 45 thread. Awesome. Rainbow to go with the rainbow. That's vinyl. a big old spool of thread. Yeah, I've used quite a bit and I probably have about six more of these spools, so. <laughs> it's been like over a year, it's not going away. It's like, I don't know why I ordered so many. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, well, let's get going. Michelle, okay. can you tell me what I cut my dimensions at? Cause I don't have my PDF up. Um, The bottom. So the vi are you cutting the whole thing or just the bottom right now and you're sewing it in two? Um, read me the bottom part and then the fabric part. The bottom is 12 and a half by, oh shoot, you're really quizzing me. 12 and a half by seven and a half. Okay. And then the top is 12 and a half by six. So like 14 total, huh? 12 and a half. If I'm doing an all fat or all vinyl, I cut this first 12 and a half. And then in, for the vertical measurement, yeah, so that be 13. Looks fine. If you're doing one, okay. So, 
because there's no seam in the middle. Is it? 12, did you mean 14 12, wide? 12 and a half wide. Uh -huh. 13. It's because you're doing one big piece of vinyl minus in your, your seam allowance, it'll be 13. Right? Because okay. we're sewing it with a quarter inch seam allowance. Let me make sure before. Got it. Here we go. Let me make There's sure. There's my piece. Use everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a quarter inch seam allowance. I was right. <laughs> I so love 13. this. So what you're using some Tula fabric there, I see. I, I sure think I'm am. getting I'm that bolt in. Fairy dust. Yeah. I have yeah. several colors of fairy dust coming in soon. I never know when it's going to get here. But I it's, bought several different colors because she's coming back out with some colorways. And then I bought a um, a wide back with like a bigger print. Well, yeah, it's good cool. for your, it matches the... For everybody oh, I love it. So the you have already sewn the fabric to the vinyl there. Oh no, no? that's just me oh. holding it. <laughs> okay. Well, let's begin. I'm cutting my vinyl here. I always save my vinyl scraps just in case I can use them later, like in pockets and whatever. Yep. And Michelle actually has a really cool tutorial on her website for a sanitizer bottle you know those little sanitizer bottles i have them everywhere my car my bag purse everywhere clean hands and you tested it for me too yeah i did i it's know great pattern i can't believe it's free yeah well give the people some loving so i'm going to sew my top and my bottom together quarter Perfect. inch seam allowance Perfect. I'm ducking here to get some fabric. I like to do my zipper tabs in a fabric versus a vinyl. It's just easier. Oh, it's too white. So a tip too, if they're sewing with vinyl and fabric you're doing it the way it's written in the pattern so with the fabric against the bed of your machine and your vinyl against your presser foot so that it glides through it doesn't get stuck good tip yes yeah no worries anyone who has to go this will be up later we're actually kind of on a time crunch because ramel and i are taking our kids to get passports <laughs> It's like so much is crammed in. This is our spring break, and we just have too much real life stuff going on to go anywhere. But we're getting a bunch of family stuff done, right? That way we can go see Michelle in Ottawa. That's what I keep saying. Come to <laughs> Ottawa. Wait till the weather is a little bit nicer, though, because it's cold yeah. again today. I mean, why would you want to leave where you are to come to where it's cold? <laughs> I know, right? Well, and it's still cold here. Do you guys have winter till basically end of April? Uh, we have winter till like, I don't even, it just never ends, it seems like. No. Um, yeah, basically April-ish. Yeah. It starts to get nice. One yeah. year when Ethan was really little. So Ethan's my son for everybody who doesn't know. So I think it was his first birthday. So 15 years ago. It was so nice in April. I was able to wear tank tops and shorts. Whoa. It was so hot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wishing we had that weather again. Ramel, would you be able to hand me that mug? Sorry, I just sewed this zipper tab on crooked. Trying to cut corners. Thank you. Oh, Poor Ramel. My spec. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I need to put my scalpel in here. I probably don't have it up front. Oh, shoot. That's okay. Michelle, do, when you're working with a number five zipper and you have an open end, do you usually close it with some stitching first and then put on your tab? Would you say that's easier for people? Um, after I put on the zipper, the end is already closed. Oh, there's the camera. The end is already closed, but yes, I will create little backstops on the end just so I don't lose my zipper on yeah. the ends. Yeah. Sometimes I'll start with a really long piece of zipper tape, put on one side, 
and then trim it down so that I can be sure that I have enough space. So I have to top stitch on the wrong side because the vinyl is sticking and I don't have tissue paper. Oh shoot, I wish I could send you mine. I have a piece right here. <laughs> well, we have a lot, like I just use tissue paper from like birthday gifts, like birthday wrap, I don't throw it out. Yeah. And I Same. just use that. Yep. You know, um, if you have any SF 101 around, you could also use that tissue, you know, the instructions page. Yeah, I've used I that before. Of that. Yeah. I always throw that out or recycle it. And it's not bad considering I'm top stitching on the wrong side. <laughs> Actually, I thought it would be really messy, but it's not. <laughs> awesome. Which... Oh, yeah. Do you want to turn it on? Oops. So did I, um, oh my gosh, don't even tell me I didn't put a bobbin in here. Are you joking? No, it's here. It's here. I just have to thread it. Are you already on the zipper now? Is that what we've moved to? Um, I, well, you know, I'm not following instructions really. So I have... Let me see if my camera, no, don't do it. Oh, Ramel's trying to help me get it so my machine can be seen. And I'm going to sew a zipper tab on my zipper, but I want them to be able to see if possible. Oh, okay. wrong one. This one. So I'm kind of, yep, watch Michelle. She's got it on the screen there too. You just insert, you fold your zipper tab and insert your zipper all the way to the center crease, pin it, then we're going to top stitch across this edge here, which is what Natalie is doing. Yep, and I did not uh, cut my zipper tabs correctly, so I'm doing what I sometimes do, which is winging it. But follow Michelle, she's correct there. I don't even have my iron turned on, which is a big hindrance because I just put this big old new cutting mat on my table. And now I think when I do demos, I'm going to have to have a side table with an ironing mat on it because this new cutting mat is so huge. There's no room. What size is the cutting mat? It's a, uh, let's see here. 36 tall, but it's 56 wide. I wonder if that would fit my table. So there's I my always... tab, all stitched on. Perfect. Now we're going to trim it so it's even with the zipper. Exactly. I'm going to put on my other zipper tab. I always ask customers that come into the store about their cutting mat and table and set up. <laughs> they probably think I'm so nosy, but I'm just interested because people can make things work in so many different ways. Yeah. My cutting mat is terrible. I need to get a new one. It's like all dinged up because when I'm cutting corners, I guess I go really hard. So I've like knocked yeah. little chips little out of it. Divot. So when I'm cutting straight lines, it gets stuck and it's like, okay. I really need to get a new mat. I need to stop being so cheap and just buy a mat. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Just my daily dose of caffeine now. <laughs> oh, I need another dose. I only had one cup of coffee. So my mm -hmm. zipper's done. I'm going to attach it to my... Ramel, can I just say thank you for running to the shop straight out of bed so that you could help me? Thank you so much. Thank you, Romel. I'll buy you two rounds of Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to go overhead. Let's see what this looks like. Yep. So Michelle will have fabric up here. But again, remember, I'm doing just an all vinyl one. So I'm placing my zipper down, face down. Now, Natalie, are yeah. you not holding that top half down like we do with the fabric? You know what? I could do that. 
Well, I'm actually when I I'm going to sew this down and when I flip it up, that will fold down. No, I mean the because then I gave you the measurement for with the fabric because remember we fold the fabric down. You have the fabric oh, at the top right. folded that's, in half. That's why it looks so tall to me. I'm like, I don't think this is the right size because it's more like this, isn't it? Sorry, that was my mistake because I'm trying no, to follow the pattern. <laughs> no, it's totally not. I love it. See, I forgot my own tutorial. So I just need to chop off like three inches. It's three inches you're going to chop off. Yeah. Yep. Easy peasy. Thanks, Michelle, for catching easy, that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yep. I would have been if like, oh, doing, I have a tall case, which is also if, fine. <laughs> if they're doing the fabric version, they will have had interfacing interfaced on the bottom edge yep. here. Now, if you're doing the fabric version, you'll fold the top long raw edge down by a quarter of an inch. That encloses your raw edge. Then we will fold this top edge, which again, I'm not used to this camera being where it is. You'll fold this edge that you just folded down to meet the edge that we just stitched to the vinyl and they will meet and pin it in place. Yes. No raw edges seen. Perfect. I'm so glad I'm you said that. Tape. Yeah. You know, I totally sold out of the double sticky tape. I'm getting a a million packs in but that stuff is so good wouldn't you say it's such a help it, i love it like every time i need trevor to order more he's always like what are you using this stuff for how do you go through so much i thought you were sewing like it looks like you're <laughs> taking things instead like <laughs> hey use the tools that help give a good result right it's like you I need have stocks in this. Foot. he's like you need stocks in this double-sided tape stuff yeah seriously if Catherine, if Catherine is watching tell aldo to get double side and get stocks and double-sided tape yeah i, I want in on that <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> yeah oh yeah good point ramel he's he told us we should remind people what we're doing in case they hopped on late michelle and i are making the comic case it's a free tutorial on my website at sohungryhippie.com and both Michelle and I will have this video on our YouTube channels. Michelle, why don't you tell them what your channel is called? M. Graham Sews. Yep. And uh, you can always watch it later if you have to go early. Totally understand. And uh, I think we'll make this a series because it's kind of fun. Yeah. Especially when, you know, I think during live sews, it's good for people to see that it doesn't always go as planned. There are mess ups and you just have to persevere and it will be okay. <laughs> um, if my daughter is watching, hi, Michaela. She's at school on a, on a break on her, uh, what is it called? A oh, spare. yeah. She said she's watching. Ramel, we should have you mic'd up because people can't hear you and you're funny. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to fold this down. I'm going to switch my camera. I'm going to, I just sewed on the zipper and I'm just going to fold it down. And there is a little seam allowance of vinyl there. I'm going to finger press it because this vinyl you can't use an iron on. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'm just finger pressing it down, get it real nice and clean, and then I can top stitch so that that stays down always. So I'll just do a really big top stitch. And I didn't bring my zipper foot, so I, uh, I'll be moving the zipper pull out of the way as I sew. So what I'm doing now is just, I folded that fabric piece down. I'm just top stitching it now. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Do I need to turn off my sewing machine light or is it okay? Okay. Sometimes on camera, those lights can be so bright. Is that better, Romel, without mine? Oh. oh. 
yeah. Yeah, it's better without ears, I think, Michelle. And you know what? Maybe if I had my glasses on, I'd be able to see. <laughs> I know, same here. <laughs> I was just thinking, why did I bring my glasses? The problem is oh, well. I have to go all like granny, you know, librarian style, and I have to do this to see. Granny chic is in. Granny chic is in, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Ramel is piecing out. I'll be ready by the time you're back, Ramel. Don't worry. I know we can't miss the passport uh, appointment. Yeah, right there. Yep, no, because your yeah. trip to Ottawa is very important. Yes, exactly. So I'm just marking my centers now so that I can get my uh, zipper on. Awesome. Don't That's a really do. crucial step. Yeah, finding the center. So I fold it in half, mark the center. This is not a pencil. It is a pencil, but we're saying it's not. Yeah. Because I mark within the seam allowance. And then I also fold my zipper in half and I mark my centers too. And then I line up all my centers so that my zipper is perfectly placed on my panel. Yeah. And do you have your spaces on each side so that when you sew your side seams, you're not sewing over the zipper tabs. Yes. Perfect. Yes. I think that's probably a thing a lot of newbies might miss because they don't really understand what we're talking about, but that will help you have really nice clean corners. Don't sew over your zipper tabs, whether it's this tutorial or my easy zipper cases pattern or the Santorini tote, just go by them, right by them. You don't wanna to be too far away or you'll have a hole, but right by them. And, and if you're having a hard time getting close to those tabs and say your foot kind of pushes you off it, use a zipper foot because with the zipper foot, you yep. can get right up beside that tab. You don't want to go over it, though, because like you were saying, and in the end, when you push those tabs out, it gives a really nice tab in yeah. the corners. So don't sew over them. Use a zipper foot when we sew together. Yep. So now I'm just stitching my zipper on the top. Nice. And I don't know if we mentioned it, but your zipper goes right sides together with the right side of your fabric. Exactly. There's my camera. I'm like showing over here, like you're seeing it, but it's everybody else <laughs> who's watching it is supposed to be seeing it. So the zipper, when you place it on, you place it so it is right sides touching the right side or the pretty side yep. of the fabric. And always clip your little threads at the end. As I always say, we don't want peekaboo threads. Threads peekaboo through your seams after. Yeah. So we don't want peekaboo threads. So true. And then I'm going to top stitch press the zipper down and top stitch under the zipper. Exactly. Yay. Oh, that looks so good. I know. So confession time, I had a whole other tulip pink fabric picked out. Yeah. And uh, I goofed and cut it the wrong size. And Michelle didn't want to do math at nine o'clock at night. So I said, let's just recut everything. Oh, yeah, totally hear so that. It would have looked so much better because it was the fairy dust that's kind of like that darker teal color. Oh, it was yeah. So pretty. Love it. I am, my zipper and sides are on. So I've opened my zipper and I'm gonna place the vinyl right sides together. I don't know where my clips went. Oh, there they are. I have to walk around and get them. And, and Michelle, when you're using vinyl, you use Wonder Clips, right? Correct. Cause holes are forever and vinyl, yes they are. I guess I'm the folk singer. There we go. This one isn't perfectly even. That's okay. We're going to match it up. 
and now I'm top stitching the last side. I wonder if this is a better angle for when I film my tutorials. Oh. So I can't really see anything that I'm doing on my table. Isn't it tricky trying to get good camera angles and lighting and all the things that are involved in a video? It's like, it is. if people don't shoot their own videos, they have no idea how yeah. hard it can be for setup. Yeah. And the problem is, is I have a little furry monster friend that likes to join usually. Oh yeah. I love your cat. And if Buddy comes, she'd stand right here and you'd never see anything because she thinks she's the star of the show. Yeah. So are you sewing up your sides now? I'm so behind. I am. I'm sewing my sides. I'm going to sew the bottom. So everyone, once you have your zipper, as Natalie was saying, attached, make sure you Gorge. open it up, fold it so it is all right sides together. And we're going to click the sides, the bottom, and the other side. Perfect. And with this Teflon foot, you guys, there's no problems. I'm not pushing or pulling the vinyl at all. The Teflon foot is a game changer. And right here, I'm right by my zipper tabs. Now I will trim. And I'm paying special attention when I'm pinning my sides for where that top where we've put this top fabric piece in, I'm making sure it lines up so it's one consistent line all the way across when the bag is done. Exactly. This is a super fast pattern. Good point. <clears throat> now, if they wanted to, Michelle, they could totally box their corners. Absolutely. But I don't because, oh, you know, I should have brought my sample. I have all my brand tags in one of these comic cases, and I just, I like it. I'm just sitting there flat in my drawer. If this part is hard for you, the turning out of the vinyl, just warm it up with a hairdryer. It makes it a little bit more malleable and easier to turn. These are the best for sunscreen storage, says Dodie. Just finished a batch for my daughters to keep in their pool bags. Genius. Bethany, wet bathing what suits day. too. This would be perfect for your wet bathing suit. Yeah, yeah, really. Cause isn't that nasty when you have that in your bag? Yeah. Um, yeah, Elizabeth, we have tons of vinyl in the shop. You should have a browse. Hi, Karen. Oh, thanks, Cindy. That zipper, i it's either called Rainbow Stripe or Color Stripe on my website. I've changed its name a few times because I'm trying to figure out the best way people can find things. But if you just go to hardware and then look at the zippers, you'll find it. And it's back. We just got a bunch of restocks. I'm just trimming my seam allowances just because... Yes, good idea. Michelle is trimming her seam allowance, y'all. That is really important. And it looks I pretty with pinking shears. Dodie says it is color stripe. Yes. The zipper. Oh, these corners are hard to push out right now because it's freezing. I never wear hoodies, but I have to show you. I bought this one on Etsy the other day. Do you like it? What does it say? I think it says stay groovy or something. <laughs> Perfect for you. <laughs> and they had pink, so I was like, oh, I have to get it. It's a must. Oh, of course. <laughs> pink is your color. <laughs> pink is my signature color. Like blush and bash. It's like that song there, Pink is my favorite color. Wasn't it by Aerosmith? Pink 
is my favorite. Yes. I'm not going to quit sewing to go on a singing career. Trust me. I'm sorry if I just embarrassed <laughs> my daughter. She's she's probably like, oh, my God, mom. <laughs> oh, I know, right? My kids are so funny. They said something the other day, and I can't let it go. So I keep saying to them, oh, did that slap? today did your day slap you know and all this because i guess it's a term like when something's cool it slaps i keep telling them spill the tea and they just like oh, you're not mom, i'm not that's cool so, that's so 2020 <laughs> right. somebody posted a meme about um being carded for alcohol purchase. And they said, oh, that was quick. And the cashier said, yeah, I saw the 19. And I went, you know, 19, born in 1978 yeah. or 1985 or whatever. And so now if you were born in 2001 or two, you can buy alcohol. Isn't that weird? Well, Michaela was born 20, 20, 2005. So in 2004, she would have been, she'd be 19. Oh yeah, my God. isn't it weird? It's very weird. It's, it's very weird. weird. 2001 seems like maybe forever two years ago. ago. It feels like forever ago for me. <laughs> but the 1980s feel like yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true that. And okay, why can't I well, remember every song from the 80s word for word, but I can't remember what I did yesterday. Explain that. Oh, yeah, me. same. Absolutely the same. I was singing a Blondie song the other day, word for word. And I, and I did think to myself, geez, how do I know that still? Yeah. We put it on like the 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s station on in our kitchen. And the kids are just like, this is terrible. We're like, have you heard the music you listen to? <laughs> <laughs> so there's my case. I'm just carefully poking out corners here. Look at you, Michelle. You're almost done too. That and you did the fabric. Gee whiz. Michelle's very fast at sewing. Well. You have to be. You you make like eight thousand bags a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I kinda of, kind of call myself like a bag making whore. <laughs> yeah. Because literally, I make everything. I love it. You're so good at it all. It's so amazing. Marie, I hope you do. These are so fun. You can see how fast we did that. And we were chit-chatting. So just remember, the first one is always the hardest. After that, I'm sure it's just a walk in the park for all of Confession you. Confession so, time. This was my first I ever made of this pattern. Get yeah. out. Shut the really? front door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Angie says the 80s were the best. Seriously. <laughs> oh my gosh. This was so fun. Hi, Loretta. Hi, Linda. I just packed okay. an order yesterday. So this does not show up on camera as nice as it is. It's this stuff is freaking amazing. Yeah, that vinyl looks so good in sunlight. It's got stars and like rainbow and glitter and just yeah. all the cool. Yeah. Isn't totally. it fun when you dig through your bin and you find things that you forgot you purchased like a year ago and you're like, well, yes. A year ago, Michelle knew she was going to be making a comet case. So she knew she needed to order it. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Awesome. Michelle, thank you for joining me. This was so fun. Fun. I hope and everybody liked it. Let's, let's take a poll from everybody. Comment what you want us to sew next week. And we'll be back, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Next Thursday? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a good time. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, I got to go. We got to go to the passport office. So I shall see you all soon. Thanks so much for being here. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. That was perfect.